In this problem, we have to find the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of this function here. So the first thing we should do when evaluating limits like this is to take the value here of pi over 2 and plug it in for all of the x's and see what happens. So if we do that, we get 1 minus the sine of pi over 2 over 1 plus the cosine of 2 times pi over 2. So the sine of pi over 2 is 1, so we end up with 1 minus 1. And here we get the cosine of pi, which is negative 1, so it's 1 plus negative 1. So it looks like we get 0 over 0. So whenever you end up with uh, 0 over 0, this is called an indeterminate form, indeterminate form. And whenever you have this one or this one, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule says that whenever you have 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, you can just take the derivative of each piece. So the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the limit as x approaches pi over 2. So the derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of sine is cosine. So this will be negative cosine of x over on the bottom, the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, except here it's cosine of 2x. So we have to use the chain rule. So it'll be negative sine of 2x, and then times the derivative of the inside function. The inside function here is 2x, so its derivative is 2. All right, let's clean this up a little bit. This is the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of cosine, right, the negatives cancel, cosine x over 2 sine 2x. So you have to think a little bit here. Um, what happens if we plug in pi over 2? So up top, we'll get cosine of pi over 2. And on the bottom, we'll get 2 times the sine of 2 times pi over 2. Hmm, interesting. So sine of pi is going to be uh, 0. And cosine of pi over 2 is going to be 0. So we still have uh, 0 over 0 here. So this will be 0 over 0. So apparently we can use L'Hopital's uh, again. Okay, we can use L'Hopital's rule again. I do have another idea. Um, I think there's a trig identity we can use. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a star here like this. And we're going to keep going with L'Hopital's, but then we're going to come back and try to do it a different way, just to see if we can finish it two different ways. Kind of, kind of interesting. So this is equal to x approaches pi over 2. So using L'Hopital's again, the derivative of cosine is uh, simply negative sine. On the bottom, we have 2, and then times the derivative of sine is cosine. So cosine 2x. And again, chain rule, so times the derivative of 2x, so 2. Now I believe we can plug in pi over 2 because there's not going to be an issue on the bottom. We'll just get cosine of pi. So we drop the limit sign. This will be negative sine of pi over 2. On the bottom, we have 2 times 2, which is 4. And then we have cosine of 2 times pi over 2. Beautiful stuff. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, so this is negative 1 over these cancel. You get cosine of pi, which is negative 1. So you have 4 times negative 1, so we get 1 over 4. Good stuff. Let's try to finish it the other way. I didn't tell you what it was, but I want to try it because I'm interested to see if it works. So let's take the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of cosine x over 2 sine 2x. My first thought, by the way, was to do it the way I'm about to do it now. And I think the reason is I'm just trained to look at sine 2x. And when I see sine 2x, I just know that it's 2 sine x cosine x. This is such an important identity in calculus and mathematics and in trig uh, everywhere. I mean, it's so good. So this is the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of cosine x 
over 2. And then we have this identity. So 2 sine x, cosine x. And I, I don't know if it's going to work yet. I haven't thought about it. What happens here? The cosines cancel. Boom. So we get the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of 1 over 4 times sine x. Oh, it does work. How beautiful. Because now when we plug in pi over 2, we drop the limit sign, so we get 1 over 4 times the sine of pi over 2. And the sine of pi over 2 is 1, so this is 1 over 4 times 1, so it's 1 over 4. So two ways to finish the problem. Um, I guess it just depends uh, which way would you do it. Uh, I guess it would depend on what you're looking for. Uh, maybe this is a more common approach, just to keep trying to use L'Hopital's. I mean, because you're already using L'Hopital's, so your mind should be, you know, on L'Hopital's. I saw this, and my mind drifted to this trig identity. So, different ways to do the same problem. I hope this video has been helpful.